Lonely from the world's capital markets. Here are the financial headlines brought to you by Arise Academy. Good morning and thank you for joining us for today's daily market outlook. Joining me today is Michael from our trading room to tell us more about the recent developments. Michael. Reports of slower growth at China's factories and retail sales drove down oil prices. U.S. stocks dropped as China printed lower than expected economic data and unexpected interest rate cuts, prompting concerns about the outlook for global growth. U.S. Judge Sarah Netburn granted Ripple Labs' motion to serve two subpoenas to authenticate seven video recordings in which U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's officials made public remarks. Canales figures showed Samsung was the only smartphone vendor in the top five to register annual shipments growth in Q2 in the Southeast Asia market, with an overall double-digit decline as consumer confidence was hit by growing inflation. The gold dollar pair plummeted 1.1% in the last session. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The euro dropped 0.9% against the dollar in the last session. The ROC is giving a negative signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The pound fell 0.5% against the dollar in the last trading session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. Nike's stock saw a minor rise of 0.3% in the last session. The ROC is giving a positive signal. The UK's ILO unemployment rate will be released at 0600 hours GMT. Germany's ZEW survey, current situation, at 0900 GMT. The UK's claimant count change at 0600 GMT. The US Red Book Index will be released at 1255 GMT. Japan's exports at 2350 GMT. The US housing starts at 1230 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.